In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at demagnetizers and what exactly they do and how they work. But before I get into that, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to my channel. I post new tech reviews every week and the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. So please click on that little red square in the bottom right corner. It won't cost you anything. There's no obligation on your behalf, but it will really help my channel grow. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so what is a demagnetizer? A demagnetizer removes the magnetic field that can build up during the use of audio tapes in a cassette deck. Basically, as magnetically charged tape passes over the metallic components of a tape deck, it creates a magnetic polarity that can reduce the quality during recording. Demagnetizers remove this polarity. Now, basically, there are two types of demagnetizers. There's a, case, a cassette type, and in the old days, there was a wand type. And basically, it demagnetizes anything they touch. And if not used properly, it can increase the magnetization of the heads and can also erase tapes. Another type that I use, and I will demonstrate for you in a moment, involves a magnetic disc that rotates creating an alternating magnetic field necessary for demagnetizing. Now, if heads become overly magnetized, tapes may begin to erase themselves over time, starting with the very high frequencies. I will also mention that you might often hear demagnetizers also being referred to as degaussers. And it should be noted that some cassette decks over the years were actually designed to self-demagnetize. Now, I've noticed that there's actually a debate in the audio community. Some people swear by demagnetizing. In fact, many people insist that it should be a required part of your cassette deck maintenance. But there's also a lot of people who feel that it's just not necessary. There just really seems to be a lot of back and forth from both sides of that debate. Again, some people feel it's necessary, some people feel it's not. Now, in a moment, I'm going to be showing you a little demonstration of my demagnetizer. Believe it or not, this was given to me as a gift way back in Christmas of 1985. I still have it, I still use it, and I actually still have the original packaging, believe it or not. Yeah, that's just the kind of person I am. I like to hold on to stuff like that. So in a moment, I will actually put this, this demagnetizer in my cassette deck and show you how it works. Let's have a little demonstration of this cassette tape head demagnetizer. <laughs> 